Hi Psycade viewer. Welcome back to another fun and interesting video on mental health. Before we start, we would like to say thank you for all the love and support that you've given us to date. Our mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now let's begin. Was there ever an experience that left you wounded in your heart? Does the memory of it still hurt you? If so, you may be emotionally wounded. Emotional wounds are essentially emotional or psychological trauma. The effects of these can be damaging to your physical and mental well-being. They can encompass many experiences such as heartbreak, emotional abuse, betrayal, and the list goes on. Here are seven signs that you may be emotionally wounded. Number 1. Getting flashbacks. Did you know that many people who have gone through an emotionally traumatic event experience flashbacks? There are two types of flashbacks you might experience, explicit or implicit. Explicit flashbacks are more memory-based. It speaks to you feeling like you're reliving the event. On the other hand, implicit flashbacks are driven more by emotions. It feels like an unexplained overreaction or outbursts to an emotional trigger. Number 2. Low self-esteem. Emotional wounds hurt and may make you doubt your self-worth. It's common for these emotional wounds to involve verbal abuse and insult. Therefore you may look back at those events and feel small, worthless or ashamed. Your mind may be processing the event by tearing your self-esteem down to rationalize what happened to you. With proper healing you may be able to process your emotional wounds in a way that doesn't cause you to question your confidence or self-worth. Number 3. You have trouble controlling your emotions. Do you find yourself getting angry over small things and lashing out unexpectedly? Do you have a hard time quieting your mind at night? These could be signs of an emotional wound. Emotional wounds often damage the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex, which are two brain areas heavily responsible for emotional regulation. This can make it really hard to regain control over your emotions. Number 4. Emotionally eating. Do you ever find yourself mindlessly eating? Emotional eating is common during times of stress, pain and discomfort. This may be because food releases a feel-good chemical in the brain called dopamine. It's important to recognize this in yourself because emotional eating can lead to a variety of eating disorders that can be harmful to your body. Number 5. Chaotic Sleep Schedule. Do you have trouble falling asleep or oversleeping? Are you waking up at random times during the night? This also could be an effect of emotional wounds. Trauma can impact your sleep in a number of negative ways. You may experience nightmares or anxiety at night when your adrenaline may be keeping you alert and awake when you should be sleeping. Number 6. Heavy Heart. Do you sometimes feel sad out of the blue? Have you found yourself crying easily over the littlest of things? Another major sign of an emotional wound is extreme sadness. Extreme sadness is hard to bear. If it goes on for an extended period, it may lead to emotional numbness. This is where you suddenly go from feeling a lot of emotions to feeling absolutely nothing. Number 7. Feeling most secure by yourself. Is spending time alone makes you feel the calmest and safest? Emotional wounds can bring about trust issues and make it hard to feel secure around other people. It may cause you to avoid social events and even begin to isolate yourself. Remember that social isolation can cause many other forms of damage to your emotional well-being. Do you think you're suffering from an emotional wound? How are you recovering? Please leave your response in the comments section below. If you found this video helpful, like it and share it with others. With your help we can spread awareness on mental health issues. And remember to subscribe for more helpful psychological tips. Thank you for watching and take care until next time.